and uh, hello YouTube. This is Patrick from Team Blackjack. Got our captain right there. And this is Joe. Joe, tell us what you did today. Uh, I got top four at uh, ARG uh, in Medina, Ohio. Ooh. Most people don't even know where that is. I live in Ohio, didn't know where it was. I, I, didn't, I didn't either. So let's, let's let's cut straight to it. Let me let me see what you played. I played um, Altergeist Annoying Deck. Frogs 2.0. Um, the monster lineup is pretty generic. Three Man Editor, three Multi Faker, three Mela Seek, two Silk, and one Can Carry. Um, I see some builds not playing that. Play this card, please. Card. It's, it's, it's really so good. good. It's like really good. it's the grind game is just extended so far with yes. this card. Like it's it's unbelievable. But I mean, yeah, it's just when the generic the generic lineup. Yes, in time, it, it's super helpful. <laughs> no one expects Battle Vader. Um, I played a heavier hand, hand trap build um, than most people because I wanted it to go second and first, kind of in a sense, I guess. So um, I play the three Ash and the three Ogre, um, and then two Cherries main. Um, cherries is really, really, really good, and you have so much extra deck space with this deck, so if you don't play the Cherries, like, it's kind of just pointless. And, like, I understand people who side them, I side the third one, but, like, if you, um, if you don't main the two, like, with this deck, getting game one is, like, really important because time, you could usually win in time, so, like, having that first game just super, just really helps you in the long run. Um, and many, that's it for the monster lineup. How many times is Reaper dead today? Um, never. Because the only time it was, it's been dead uh, in past tournaments is when I play against True Draco. Um, I guess it was, it was kind of dead against a, um, a Pendulum player, but that was because literally at the beginning of this tournament, you can even ask my friend Mitch, I literally took out my Electromite target because I was like, oh, I'll play no, I'll play against no, um, no, uh, Pendulums, and there were two Pendulum players, and, so this boy pretty sure. tell, tell and I played against one of them. Uh, I took out for a Dante, which actually super, like, really, really, really helped. Which helped, really? Like, heavily. Last round. Literally last round, I, I, I chariot as a Dante game one, and, like, it, it kind of won me the game, pretty much, so. Oh, I heard that's pretty good. Um, spell lineup, uh, two duality, one desires. I've used to play 2-1, and then for a while I played 2-2. Two, two. And this card, I hate this card, absolutely, but you kind of have to play it. Can't um, confirm. So, like, it's just, it, like banishes both your silks sometimes and you have absolutely no way of getting those back in this deck so like it, it sucks sometimes but you have to play it because it's it's a it's a good neg nine <laughs> um but it's a good it's a good plus one card so neg nine we get ash neg 13 um that's it for the spells um for the traps two protocol two manifestation uh pretty generic um i i mean i just this clog at all uh two no um honestly two silk clogged <laughs> um, I drew two silk against somebody and it was just like I lost because um, I drew two silk I drew a spoofing so it kind of helps but the spoofing got ashed so um, speaking of three spoofing um, I wish they would errata this to alter guys spoofing um, his deck would be insane <laughs> uh, three mind crush um, I didn't main deck uh, strike and I didn't side strike uh, I hate the new time rules a lot so strikes really bad um, in my opinion um, and plus uh, mind crush just like it's like, if you have Minecraft Multifaker, you're not only negging your opponent a card, which sometimes you can hit two out of their hand um, of that type, but you're also like plusing yourself because Multifaker is reacted to it, and it's kind of like a free trap to activate. Whereas like Strike is really, really dependent. Like this, you can just have a random card in hand in Multifaker, and you could just like be accepting that you're gonna discard the other card if, even if you call it wrong. So like it's just a free trap to activate. Whereas Strike, it's very like situational. Um, and then the only thing good about Strike is um, it stops chain links. Um, and then three impermanence because it's alter dice. How many times you open an impermanence faker? Uh, once, once today, um, and I only used it once. They give true. Um, it's it's really good, obviously impermanence faker. Um, I thought about main decking like two typhoon um, when true Draco were a hard matchup, but now they don't like I don't like they're not a thing anymore really. No. Um, so but typhoon against true Draco like typhoon multi faker was really good. So. Uh, two anti spell and one imperial order because alter guys. Oh, those cards are good. Those cards are really good. I I actually only played this once today and it almost killed me, but um, it still worked really well. Um, and then I never really saw it after that. I saw it another time, but I don't I don't think I ever used it. Um, and then anti spell is just like free against pendulum, kind of kind of helpful against sky striker. I've heard. Um, and there the fortieth card, card. The fortieth card is trap trick. 
this wow. card is the nuts. You're welcome. It literally, like, the one thing that has, a, like, a difficulty with this deck is, um, like, floodgates. So, like, people summoning a monster where you can't, like, special summon, like, border or something. Um, or just, like, giving getting the card that you need to, like, extend your plays with a multi-faker. And it's also a free trap activation. So, like... Basically, if you they summon border, if they summon a floodgate monster or something, or if they add something to their hand, you just like activate this and like chain protocol or manifestation because you can only activate one trap after this, um, and then like set the impermanence from deck or set um, a, a manifestation from deck or set a mind crush from deck, like. But it's only a one of like, if you see two of this, it, yeah, that's outrageous brick. So. Um, it's really, really, really good today. I actually resolved it like probably three times today, and every single time it won me the game. Ooh, ooh. How many um, cards are main? Main is 40, just 40. Um, it breaks sometimes, so you have to. Um, I'll go uh, extra deck. Yeah, show some cherry stars. Extra deck is two Hextia. I've never needed three. It may actually, I lied, it maybe came up once, but like it's not really necessary. You're, you, it's, it's win more. Um, sometimes, like I, I talked with my buddy Mitch, and like, it's it's helpful to main three to um, like um, to do the uh, combo where you like pop this with Hextia and search for a card and then summon another one and summon this off Manifestation from Grave. Um, it's it's sometimes helpful, but I can get that off with even two, so it's not too bad. And sometimes I don't even go into it. Um, and then a Prime Banshee. I don't sun, I don't use the Kadolga. It's like really situational and. It, it's if, so trolly. Yeah, it's trolly. It is trolly. Like I've tried it at locals once, but I never really made it. So. Um, Link Kribo, uh, Claren Rushka, because you have to get rid of the Melusik on your field. Um, Nightmare Phoenix, I didn't play Cerberus, because back row is really the only thing I worry about in this deck. Um, Cerberus, like, you're soaking most of their monsters, um, and Phoenix just get, gets rid of, like, like it just, like, outstrike on uh, the back row, or it outs, like, floodgate cards in the back row. Um, Akashic, I made this once to, to kind of clear my board and still have space to um, in the extra deck, um, summon from the extra deck. Uh, Ningirsu, okay, this card I've only made once ever, and it was at the YCS 200, and it was a guy that summoned the Link 3 Mech Knight on me. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, I don't have an out for this card, and I, I did, uh, Ningirsu. So I, I like have to run this card. Um, and it is, it's really good, non-target, uh, destroy. Uh, and firewall, so this is where like my cherries targets kind of start. Like, this is cherries, but I have actually used this before. Um, what? It's, it's really, really rare, um, but it's to like push for game against people who have floodgate back rows, like my buddy Nick. Um, so what locals, man. locals it helps. Cause like you can like combo with the Hextia to like um, pop himself to summon one from grave and then summon one from hand and then like just getting extra monsters on board. Um, and then like link away those two for like, um, for other cards. So uh, not Hextia, Marionette. But, um, and then Cherry's targets is pretty obvious. Esol, Kagari, both very obvious. Um, is that an Mechaba, Kagari? I thought, no, it's not. I'm not, say, I'm not that swaggy. On um, uh, Mechaba, I've actually thought about taking this out. It's not a really hard matchup against me. Uh, um, like, I mean, for me to play against, it's it's pretty, like, simple. Activate protocol. Uh, yeah, like, you just, like, negate their um, invoker or just keep silking their, um, their field spell. Um, totally awesome, because I hate the Paleo matchup, and I lost to two of these at the YCS. Oh, um, these, these, it's actually my buddy Nick's, so I have no clue who that is. That's easy. Oh, that's easy. Wow. Um, <laughs> um, Dante. Dante saved me today. At least it's not a common. No. Um, Dante saved me today. Um, I borrowed it from my buddy Mitch. Uh, I took out the Electromite where I actually played a Pendulum player today. That was kind of funny. So. What a man. Uh, and this is for our locals more, but also because this deck is actually kind of difficult for me to play against. I don't know why. It's just... Uh, and somebody actually asked me today, uh, why not Infinity over this? And it's because this... Um, they can't it, make Infinity. They can't make Infinity. Well, they can. It's very difficult. They have to summon three level fives instead. And three also... Level sixes. This are uh, three level sixes. So yeah, they can't. Never mind. Yeah. Um, and, but this card also, what people forget is his other effect where he um, discards, I mean, uh, detaches and summon ones from Grave. So it actually, like, it, this extends their plays before they go into Infinity. Not he even to has mention another the, effect. Yeah, the attack effect. Yeah, the attack effect is really... Yeah, attack. like, we, like, uh, Alter Guys have a difficulty with, like, uh, um, like dinos, for example, like just like OTK decks that just put out a lot of damage. So yeah, and when he gets destroyed, he, he summons, summons a, a big boy. So that's side deck. Side deck. Uh, the third cherries, because um, it's it's. I mean, it's really good. E two isn't enough sometimes. Um, three bell. 
a lot of people are main decking this over Ogre. Um, I still like Ogre right now. Maybe I'll change my mind eventually. Um, but I like this in the side deck because it's really, it's mainly good against like Sky Striker right now. And I have a rough matchup events against them, but like I haven't really had to play them too much at my locals. So I just, I side them right now. This card is the nuts um, right now, in my opinion. Um, it stops uh, evenly matched. It stops invocation without actually negating it. Um, it stops just a lot of banishing right now. Um, it stops malicious. Uh, it stops Thunder Dragons, so I like this card a lot over, uh, a lot of people are saying Imperial Iron Wall, um, I prefer this. Um, it's just really reactive, you can set it as a fake, um, a fake trap too. So like, and if they for some reason pop it, it summons itself and then you contribute it to use its effect. So like, it's it's bait sometimes too. I heard that's pretty good. Um, right, Geki, I, I Sorry, actually, I, I mean I needed a 15th spot and I thought Right Geki sounded good, so. Um, I side these instead of main these because they brick sometimes in the main. Uh, I have a rough time with the mirror match, so um, I don't know why I just do. It's just annoying to me, so I, I side them because if I main them, I'd have an even more tough time with the mirror match. Um, heavy Storm Duster. It's a free trap to activate for multi faker. It ha I mean, yeah, it's it's really good. I think it's better than Twin Twister. Obviously, it's better than Twin Twister and um, and Mul and um, Altergeist because it's a trap. So. And then uh, free evenly because it's it's evenly matched. How many times have you evenly fakered someone? <laughs> I've never evenly fakered somebody, but I have evenly people for a game for by, by like seven times, <laughs> like plenty of times. I've never evenly fakered though. I've never gotten that combo off. I'm just not lucky enough, I guess. I did. Well, you're you're really a good, good. player. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I did want to say a uh, shout out to my friend Mitch. Um, he like helps me play test a lot. He helps me. Um, he, he let me borrow cards today, same as Nick down here. Um, Top Cut Gaming, you know, advertising on your guys's channel. But um, What's your YouTube channel. Uh, Top Cut Gaming. That's, I mean, that's, that's literally, it. It's okay. literally the same thing. Pretty Top Cut simple, Gaming. guys. Um, we, uh, we we have our locals, Maxine's, we're sponsored by, so shout out to Maxine's Bargain Box. Uh, shout out to Patrick, also recording the video hey. for um, for just a lot of uh, like ideas and concepts. He actually came to the last locals Tuesday and gave me some, some pointers and stuff. Patrick's. Um, yeah, and he's a cool Patrick. dude. And shout out for his oh, for the deck profile. Uh, and the trap trick. <laughs> and the trap trick. This card <laughs> is, well, this card is really good. Okay, one last really question good. before we end this. Would you change, what would you change? What would I change? Main deck only. Though. Main deck only. Because these are so well, personal preference. Yeah. What about his cherry targets? Um, well, I asked main deck. extra deck, extra deck isn't that big of a deal. Um, I would, for the meta, if I played against meta, I would probably take out the three ogre and put in three bell. If it wasn't, I played this deck so much in locals. Um, but the other thing, honestly, that I've been noticing is I would probably side deck the anti spells. And put in another like like floodgate trap or like just really good trap like the the imperial order is just like a necessity what like about it, shared it's so good um, I don't like shared ride I really don't like that card uh, side deck I can see I could see it side decking it's a good card don't get me wrong but like it's it's one of those cards where it's really good sure but like when it's dead it's really 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 dead and whereas like anti spell is like it's really dead sometimes but it's also a free trap for for multi figure so like that's where I think it comes into play. That makes sense. All right, guys, this has been Blackjack Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank you guys very much. I'm glad you guys made the trip. We had fun. It was super fun. All right.